Common Man and Company, Mike and T-Bone, Terry Francona will join us coming up at 532. So, they've had this for a while, but I guess I just discovered it. The Pittsburgh Penguins have a 24-7 radio network, which I find interesting because it's called Pittsburgh Penguins 24-7, but they only have live programming between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, it's weird. They say, though, on here that Tim Benz, who some people who have listened to this station for a long time will remember that name. Apparently, Tim Benz is on that station, the uh, Penguins 24-7 network. Here's their programming. From 9 a.m. to noon, they have Penguins Live. It was during the week. Yes. Weekdays from noon to 1, it's Bilesma Daily Press Conference. The Dan, Yeah, the Dan Bilesma Daily or Bielsma, their head coach. Let him live. Slash locker room sound. Then from one to two, it's hotline, fan audio blogs, and Commissioner Bettman. I don't know what that means. Okay, that has to be fun, right? I think Gary Bettman has a weekly press conference on Fridays. That must be what they air. Then from two to three, they have Mark Madden on. Yeah. Longtime Pittsburgh radio guy. Frequently wishes Ted Kennedy death. <laughs> Think he got fired for that. So they have other various programming then on the weekends, and they rerun things. Abby Krisner. I don't, know, I don't know what that is, but Abby Krisner is on. It's also home to Robert Morris University Colonials Hockey. Oh, right. They have a show called The High School Hockey Hour. Anyway... We were thinking if the Blue Jackets were to start their own 24-7 network, just like the Pittsburgh Penguins, what would it sound like? It's almost like we can look to the future. Yes, you know when the harp comes out, some quality radio is about to follow. This is a dream sequence? Is that what this is? This is a dream sequence. This is not real, what you're hearing now, but we wish it was real. Here's a little clip of what you would hear on Blue Jackets 24-7. This is Blue Jackets 24-7. Hello, everyone. Jeff Rimmer entering hour number seven of the Jeff Rimmer Show here on Blue Jackets 24-7, talking to my good friend, broadcasting legend, man of many suspenders, Larry King. Larry, good to talk to you, old buddy. Oh, thanks for having me on again. How many days in a row is this now? Don't Every day on, I've had you on. I have many hours to kill there, Larry. We can talk about anything at all, anything you want to talk about. Can we talk about how much I hate doing these interviews with you? Because this is getting awful. <laughs> oh, you're funny. No, I, anything else, though? You want to talk some hockey? You want to talk some jackets? Uh, jackets, I lie. You know, I don't like the jackets because they cover my suspenders. <laughs> You've always been quick with the one-liners there, Larry. I have no idea what we're talking about right now. Let me tell you who I hate. I can't stand this guy. Piers Morgan is an ass. Yes, he's from England. Yeah, and he's an ass. This is Blue Jackets 24-7. Oh, a little sneak preview of what might Just come down preview. the pike. That's a show that I want to listen to. Jeff Rimmer, man. He's he filling would, all the programming. Well, he'd have to. I, and we are we are on. We've joined the battle with Jackets. All I right? have. This is just. I'm in. I'm getting season tickets. I don't know how you could do 24 hours a day, seven no, days a week impossible. of the original programming about any team. But I wonder what another show. Oh, oh hey, the Wait, are there again. more? This is Blue Jackets 24 <laughs> seven. Welcome back to Jackets 24-7. I am your host, Jeff Rimmer. It is now time for the segment everybody's talking about. It's called Name That Seat. Here's how it works. I am thinking of a seat inside Nationwide Arena. We will take callers until someone guesses that seat. We could be here for two days until someone guesses. We start things off with caller number one. His name is Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Uh, yeah, is it section uh, 117, road D, C14? It is not. Caller number two is Rose from the east side. Hello, Rose. Um, yes, is it section 204? No, it is not, Rose. You are wrong. Caller number three is Rodney from the west side. Hello, Rodney. 
Rodney, we will be here all day, people. This is Blue Jackets 24-7. That sounds like a good idea for a show. Well, why have we not done that game? I don't know. Name the seat. Right. That's the seat. Do we have some more? Oh, the harp tells us this we have more. This is the most harp I've ever heard on the radio. This is Blue Jackets 24-7. Yeah. Welcome back to the show on Fridays. The big three, and that's me and Bob McElligot and Billy Davich. We get together and we go to a restaurant for lunch and then we talk about it for one whole hour. But before we start talking about the food, let me fill you in on the rest of the programming we have coming up here on Blue Jackets 24 7. Coming up next, it's the Leo Welsh sing along hour, then it's Doug McLean flashback. Not to be missed by the following program, the finish line, (laughs) ha ha, with Jarmo Kekalainen, because he's from Finland. hee No, not yet. We're not ready for you yet. And then, wrapping up the evening's programming, Love Line with Boomer and Dr. Drew. Boomer is standing at attention, ready to go. hee I said shut up. This is Blue Jackets 24-7. Those sound like some pretty good shows. I, I, the Doug McClain flashback has to be some of He's the just most yelling and swearing at vitriolic you the radio time. ever. And you know what? We were joking about this happening. I really want this to happen now. I think this could be epic. There's, there's still some, more programming. There's still some more programming. It's, this I believe it. is Blue Jackets 24-7. This is Sergey Bobrovsky calling show. Hello, caller. Hello, Sergey. It's an honor to talk to you. Yes? Can, can you hear me, Sergey? Yes? Okay, I just wanted to know um, what it feels like to, to be between the pipes and be in such a groove right now. I'll hang up and take my call off the air. Yes, it's good. Next caller. Hi, Sergey. Yes? Sergey, my name is Janice. Yes. I just want to tell you that I really think you're doing a good job as a goalie for the Blue Jackets, and I was wondering if you can come to my birthday party on Saturday. Niet. Next caller. Hello, Sergey. It's Jeff Weber. Yes. I was wondering when I was going to be allowed back on the air. Never. Next caller. This is Blue Jackets 24 7. So. Sergey Bobrovsky a is a man dead. of few words, but... And we've just beat it. He sounds Swedish. Did he? It was like a comp... It was, it was like a combo of Russian accent... Yes. And, s- <laughs> and Swedish accent. Well, in fairness, when we did that bit, I said, just give me yes or no questions. The first question you gave me was not a yes or no question. I'm sorry. I mean, goalie Bob answered a non-yes or no question. So there you go. That is what Blue Jackets 24-7 would sound like. And could, you know what? Could be the dumbest thing we've ever done, quite frankly. I don't care. We had fun doing Let it. Let me tell you something. Blue Jackets, don't have to send us a letter or anything. You're welcome when you launch the 24-7 network and you air all of that programming that we just predicted you would, you're welcome. We just we just helped you. We gave you a focus group right there that you're not going to get anywhere else. My favorite was Love Line. With, with Boomer, Boomer, the phallic-shaped mascot that was just not around long enough. No, it's, we bring back Boomer. Hashtag bring back Boomer. And coming up, if you missed anything from the first two hours of the program, we got you covered with the rundown. Common Man and Company, 97.1.